Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a very simple team change system inside of Roblox Studio. So, let's just get right into the video. So the first thing we want to do is go under the View tab and open up Explore and Properties. And then what we want to do is make sure that we have teams inside of our game. Now, if you open up your Explorer and you don't have teams, so for example, if I hide teams right now, so if your Explorer looks like this, then we're going to need to go get teams. Now, in order to do that, what we're going to do is go under the model tab, and then we're going to go all the way to the right where we find services. We're going to click on that and then find where teams is, select teams and press insert. And now teams should be inside of your Explorer. So once we have teams inside of our Explorer, what we're going to do is click the plus and enter in a team. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be making two teams. One is red and one is blue, but obviously you can mix it up. For example, you could have a uh, good and bad a police and prisoner, a boy or girl, whatever you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to make one red and blue. So I'm going to name this first one red. And then under the properties of your team, I'm going to go to team color and I'm going to make it uh, really red. Now there is this uh, property called auto assignable. If it is checked, then the player will automatically be assigned to this team whenever they join the game. So it's optional if you want it to be on or not. I'm just going to turn it off. If red is our first team, I'm just going to duplicate that and make my second team blue. So I'm going to rename this to blue. And then under the properties, I'm going to make the team color really blue. So right now, if I go test out the game right now, you can see we have a neutral team because I made both teams unassignable and we have a team red and a team blue. So once we have our teams down, what we're going to do is head to the replicate storage. We're going to click the plus and enter in a remote event. And I'm just going to rename this remote event to team change, just like that. And then what we can do is make our UI for our team change. So we can go ahead over to the start GUI click the plus, enter any screen GUI, and I'm just going to rename the screen GUI to team change UI. And then under team change UI, click the plus, and we're first going to enter in a button. So this text button is going to be the button that's going to allow us to open a different frame for us to change our teams. So I'm just going to put my button somewhere over there. Uh, I'm just going to rename this button to something like uh, open. And then what you can do is go under the properties of it and change how it looks. So for my purposes, I'm probably just going to go to the background color, uh, make it a little bit gray, maybe like a darker shade of gray. And then I'm going to head all the way over down to the text. I'm going to make it say change teams. I'm going to make the text scaled and I'm going to make the text white, just like that. So this is what my button looks like. Obviously you can kind of customize what yours looks like. So after we have our open button, what we can do is go back to our team change UI, click the plus, enter in a frame, and then I'm gonna rename this frame to background. So this is gonna be our background frame. So what I'm gonna do is under the properties of background, go to the size and we make it one comma zero comma one comma zero and if i enter that you can see that it covers the entire screen however if i go play the game right now you'll notice that there's still a little bit um, of the bar on the top so to fix that what we're going to do is go back to the team change ui and then i'm going to find this box that says ignore gui inset and just make sure that's checked so now if I go test it out in the game, you can see this frame covers the entire screen. If I go back to the background frame, what I'm going to do is go to the background color. I'm going to make it completely black. And then I'm going to head over to the background transparency and I'm going to make it pretty transparent. Maybe like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, something like that, just to give the background a little bit of a tint. And then what I'm going to do is go to the background frame I'm going to click the plus and enter in a text button. So this first text button is going to be uh, one of our teams that we can change into. So I'm just going to resize it to make it like a square. 200 by 200 should uh, should be fine. I'm going to put it somewhere over here. Uh, obviously, you can make yours whatever you want, but I'm going to rename this to red. Uh, so when we click on this button, we're going to be able to change the red team. And then I'm just going to quickly customize it. So I'll probably make the background color a some form of red. And then I'm going to head all the way down into the text. I'm just going to make it say red and capital letters, text scaled, and I'll probably 
make it white just like that and then i'm gonna do the same thing with an identical button just on the other side i'm gonna rename this button to blue and then i'm gonna go change the background of it to some kind of blue just like that and then we're gonna need one more button so under the background click the plus enter in a text button and this button is just gonna be our exit button so i'm just gonna name it to exit and then i'm going to change uh, the background to something like orange and then i'm gonna go all the way down to the text i'm gonna make it say exit with big letters like text scaled and i'm gonna make the text color white just like that so right now this is what our ui looks like we have a change teams button we have a red uh, i forgot to change the text on the blue one but i'll do that right now so we have a red we have a blue and we have an exit just like that so what we can do now is go to our background and go into the properties of the background and just make it uh make it invisible so you can do that by going to the visible property and unchecking that so we're left with just the change teams button and now what we can do is go under the team change ui click the plus and enter in a local script i'm just going to rename this local script to team change handler and i'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can now write what i write so we're going to first start off with the replicated storage items so that's going to be a local replicated storage equals to game colon get service and then we're going to put in quotation marks and put in replicate storage after that we're going to write local team change event equals to replicate storage colon wait for child and inside the brackets we're going to put in quotation marks and that's going to be our team change remote event that we added in earlier so what these two lines does is basically gives a variable for our remote event so we can let the server know that we want to change teams after that we can go down to lines and we can write down some variables so local open button equals to script dot parent dot open and then local background equals to script dot parent dot background and then local red button equals to background dot red and then local blue button equals to background dot blue and then finally local exit button equals to background dot exit just like that now obviously if you named your red and blue text labels or text buttons differently uh, make sure to change them over here too so once we have our variables done we can now write our ui functionality so to do that we're going to start off with the open button so open button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then put in brackets and then go down the line and then we're simply going to write open button dot visible equals to false and then background dot visible equals to true so what this is going to do is whenever we press the open button we're going to make our other frame visible and we're going to hide our open button and then we can now write our exit button so exit button dot mouse button one click colon connect function put in brackets and then go down the line and then we can simply write open button dot visible equals to true go down the line and then background dot visible equals to false so what this does is when we click on the exit button we're going to hide the background frame and we're going to make our open button visible once again so now that we have our UI functionality done, we can now go on to making our red and blue buttons work. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new section. I'm just gonna call this change teams. So we're gonna start off with the red button. So we can write red button, dot mouse button one click, colon connect function, put in brackets, and then go down the line. And then we can write team change event, colon fire server. And inside the brackets, we're gonna put in quotation marks. And then I'm gonna put in red. So you wanna make sure that whatever's inside this quotation marks matches up with the team name that you put under your explorer. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, copy that, go down to lines, write the exact same thing, but change red button into blue button and change the red into blue, just like that. And that is all we have to do for our local script. So what we can do now is head back to the explorer, find the service script service, click the plus and enter in a regular script. 
And then I'm just gonna rename this script to team change server. And then you can once again, write what I write. So we're going to steal the first two lines from the other script. So just like that. So this is just the variable for our remote event. And then we're also gonna add one more. So we're gonna write local teams equals to game colon get service. And inside the brackets, we're gonna put quotation marks and we're just gonna write in teams. So after that, we can go down to lines, team change event dot on server event colon connect function. I'm gonna put in brackets. And then this time in the brackets, we're gonna write player comma space. And then we're gonna write team name and then go down the line. So what this means is when we receive the team change event, we're gonna know from who, so which player, and we're going to find out what team they want to change into. And then what we can write is local team equals to teams, colon, find first child. And then inside the brackets, we're going to put in our team name, just like that. And then what we're gonna do is go down a line and write if team then, and then we're gonna go down a line and write player dot team equals to team. And then we're gonna go down one more line and we're gonna write player dot team color equals to team dot team color. So what this means is if we find the team the player is trying to turn into, then we're gonna set the player to that team and we're gonna change their team color to the color of the team. And that is all we have to write for this script. So let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. You can see that I start off at neutral and I have this change team button on my left over here. If I click it, uh, it brings me up to this UI. If I press exit, I go back so I can change teams whenever I want to. If I press red, I become the red team. If I press blue, I become the blue team and I can keep on switching. Now, if you do want the UI to disappear after we change our teams, what we can do is just head back to our local script over here. What we can do is make exiting a function. So to do that, what we can do is up here, we can write local function exit and put in brackets, and then we're gonna go down the line. And then we can simply just write open button dot visible equals to true, go down the line and write background dot visible equals to false. And then what we can do is under exit button, we can delete these two lines of code and simply just write exit. And then after the red and blue for team change events, we can also just add in this exit function just like that. So now if we go test it out, if I was to change teams to team red, you can see we turn into team red and the UI disappears. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.